Hey what's up guys this is for Tech. in today's video we are going to install the yet another android x86 based nougat rom for your pc or laptop. This is the prime os and this rom is developed by a recognized developer at xda developers. This is the one of the best performing rom for your pc the performance is smooth and the fluid and one of the best feature is that this rom supports the gaming control. So let's get started for installation. First of all you must need the any decent quality of pen drive or the hard disk. Here I am using the SanDisk 3.0 Ultra for the installation of this ROM. Then you have to download all the files from the link given into our video description. Place them in your computer. Then connect your pen drive or the hard disk to your computer and then format it to FAT32 file system. You have to click the right button of your mouse or the trackpad. Then you have to select the format. Then you have to select the FAT32 file system. Then click on the start. After the formatting your pen drive, you have to open the Rufus exe file application and then run it as a administrator then click on the yes when this application opens you have to select your desired pen drive or the hard disk location after selecting that you have to click on the disk or the ioc image then click on the select button then you have to select the downloaded prime os ioso file here i am selecting that i have placed that file on the desktop then I am I am selecting that. Here I have selected that ISO file. Then click on the open button. Then you don't have to do anything. Don't touch anywhere and just click on the start button. Then you will see there is process installation process will start automatically. When it will complete, it will says you ready in the green bar. So click on OK. See here the installation process is complete then you have to click on the close button. Then you have to shut down your PC. After shutting down you have to boot it again. While booting you have to click the boot menu key. For my HP laptop the boot menu key is F9. For your PC you have to search it manually on the Google. Then you have to select the second one USB hard disk option. Then click on the enter. Then your PC will boot directly into the prime os rom wait for a while after few minutes the process will completes and it will boot into the prime os here is the gorgeous logo for the, your prime os and it looks very gorgeous after booting into the prime os you have to click on the proceed button after the clicking you have to click on the agree button you can register this Prime OS letter. Here I will click on register letter. Then you have to click on the accept button. Then you will directly boot into the launcher. Here is the gorgeous launcher for your Prime OS. It has all the features like the pixel launcher as this is the application uh, drawer. All the application GApps are pre-installed in this ROM. Then when you go under the settings. Here though all the applications are opens into the multi window mode by default. You can disable this option later. You can change the size of this multi window as you as per your wish. When you go under the setting and the about device you will see that you will get the system update option in this ROM. Whenever there is there will be any update for this ROM you can able to download and install it from here. You will get the all the specification of your device here. This ROM comes with the Android 7.1.2. Nougat is the base of this uh, x86 Android ROM. So it looks very good and the performance of this ROM is very good. The security patch for this ROM is also the latest one. It's October 5th 2017. I think this is the mistake. It should be 2018. Sadly, in my PC, the Wi-Fi is not working, but on the XDA developer, lots of people saying that Wi-Fi is working. Only the problem is in the Bluetooth. You have to check it whether it's working or not. 
here I am, I am using the USB Bluetooth dongle so the my Bluetooth is also working if you want to use that I will give the link for that USB dongle in the video description here you can able to set the font size you can able to change the display size also this ROM is just like the AOSP ROM so there are no lots of customization but it's, it's working good the storage is buggy it will sh uh, show you 0 0.91 terabyte but it's buggy you can access your storage under the file explorer the file explorer app is inbuilt under the Prime OS setting, you can able to disable that multi -win. You have to just click the untick button for the specific application for which you have to disable the multi-window mode. You can use the GPU tool for the specific applications in this ROM. Here I have installed the Subway Suffers app and you can able to use the custom setting for this application. You have to just tick this button. Then you can able to use the fake GPU and fake GP GL version so that the all the apps, uh, games app will be compatible with this. The launcher is customizable. You can able to set the wallpapers. You can able to add the different widgets on your home screen. It's similar to the, your smartphone where you can able to add the different widgets on your home screen. It's working good. There is no problem. It's flawless. The next one is that uh, you can able to access the quick setting panel. You have to just click on the bottom date bar on your status bar at the right corner. When you click, you will get the quick setting panel. From there, you can able to add the different tiles. You can able to access your brightness level. You can able to change volume. You can able to access the Wi-Fi, your DND mode, your auto rotation, your battery. All the things are working. You can also able to dismiss the all the notification from here also. So it's pretty useful and it's similar to your Android phones. Under the application drawer, you will get the all the G apps. You don't have to download anything like the Play Store, Music App, Calendar, and the surprisingly camera is also working here. When I I have opened this camera. It's accessing the camera, inbuilt camera and it's working. You can able to do the video calls also. The next important thing is that in this ROM, the all the media are working. Sound is also working here. My video is also working good and its sound quality is decent. So thumbs up for this. The launcher in this ROM supports the notification dots. You can able to access the notification and able to dismiss them from the app icon. The next thing in this ROM that you can able to connect the any external storage from the USB port. When I have connected my OnePlus One with this PC, I am able to access the internal storage of my uh, OnePlus One and I am able to transfer the any files from that OnePlus One device into this PC. You can able to copy or the paste anything from the external storage in this computer. This ROM comes with the game zone app. When you open this app, you will see that the, all the installed application game apps in this. This game zone app automatically detects the games and makes sure them to open into the full screen and gives them the optimal performance. So it's pretty useful. Here I have installed this subway suffers. When I will open this app. For the mapping of the keys, you have to just click the F12 and the function key simultaneously. Then key mapping will pop up. From there, you can able to add the buttons. You can able to add the D-pad. You can able to add fire key or the aim key. Add the all the keys as per your requirement of the game. Here I have added the subway supper key mapping. And I will add the key mapping keys in the video description. You, from there, you can able to add the all the keys for this game. When I played this game, it's working pretty smooth. There is no lag and it's working good. You can able to also play the PUBG game in this uh, ROM. I have not installed it, but the lots of user on the XD developer saying that this ROM working with the PUG perfect. So this ROM is really gaming friendly ROM. Please mention the comments under the comment section that which gaming apps are working with this ROM. Another feature in this ROM will get that you can able to pin the different apps under the status bar. 
so guys this rom is really working good it's smooth it has some bugs and they will be get fixed under the next update so like this video subscribe our channel and press bell icon thanks for watching